All right, so I'm in uh, Windows Ink Space right now. I'm going to look up here at the tools. I have a ruler and a protractor. I'm going to use the ruler. And I'm just going to uh, make a triangle right now. So just draw some lines. And I, I can use both fingers on this to rotate it. There we go. And again, I just use both fingers to rotate. I try to line it up real good. And what's nice about drawing on this is like wherever you, I put the pen, it's just going to connect to that and make a nice straight line with that ruler. Like if I try to draw here, it's fine. But as I get closer to it, it's going to snap in and actually draw on the ruler when I get next to it. All right, so there's my triangle. Uh, and the first thing that I want to do is circumcenters. So for circumcenters, I need uh, perpendicular bisectors. All right, so back to the tools. Look at the protractor. And this protractor comes up and see how we can use it as a compass. Like I see the center and if I put my pin out here or my finger, whatever, see how it just swings out and draws an arc like, like a compass would. So um, you can resize this by squeezing it with two fingers and I'll do perpendicular bisectors for, for sides. And I'll just do a couple different colors so we can see them pretty good. Oh, I needed to go further on that one. And again, I'm just drawing next to it. See my arcs. So there's one of my perpendicular, my kind of frame for my perpendicular bisectors right there. I'll grab the ruler, uh, use two fingers to rotate it to line up those points and just connect them. And I'll do the rest of it that you probably know from here. You know, do it again, right? So, and do perpendicular bisector for this side. I'll make that a little bigger, a little ugly last time. I'm going to change colors again just to make it a little more visible. So I've got that arc mapped out. Got that arc marked out. So now again, I'm going to go grab my ruler, line it up. And, you know, we don't have to do the third one because they'll all be collinear. It's tricky to get that right where I want it. If you just do one finger on it, you'll, it'll move it and two fingers rotate it. And then if I did the third one, it would also, it should also hit that point. And, you know, I might as well do it. <laughs> so a third color just to get it really crazy busy. I'm going to perpendicular bisect this one. Got some marks there. Got some marks there. Yeah, they're all they are all uh, collinear. There it is, right there. So that was circumcenter. So next, I will do in center. Now, instead of erasing the whole thing, I'm going to do undo just so that I don't have to redraw the triangle. Click, 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 click. All right, in center. In center is the perpendicular bisectors. So same idea. I grab my protractor and make some perpendicular. I'm sorry, not perpendicular bisectors, angle bisectors. Line up that center, pinch it, and reline up that center. And make this as small as I can. There we go. Try and get it on that vertex. I've got those marks. And then again, to get that angle bisector, I do that again from those spots. And the better I can line this up, of course, uh, the more effective it's going to be. There's one of my arcs. There's my other one. So there's my first angle bisector. And I'll bring back the ruler, try and line it up. And I think you probably get it from there, but I will do the rest just for the form of it.
Again, grab my ruler. And I don't really need to do the third one other than to check how accurate I am, really. Ugh, a little bit off. So that should be uh, my in center right there. I'll do the third one just to, again, just for the form of it. And I just like to change the color so you can kind of see where each piece came from. That's bigger than it needed to be, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's looking good. Line that up. <laughs> my eraser was on. Cool. So there's my uh, in center. In center. What's cool about the in center is you can kind of use the protractor to see if it is a good in center or not. Looks pretty good. It'll only get so small, you know, so I can't quite get it small enough to show exactly. But there you go. That's the idea. Um, hope that helps. Oh, one more thing I want to add. Um, like, let's say that you were given a triangle, like you're doing it from a worksheet. You can, from here, um, instead of using this the sketch pattern workspace, use the snip and sketch. So Snip and Sketch will take a picture of that, and then you still have the tools here. So you could actually do the work, um, you know, off a picture of a worksheet or a, or a um, triangle that you all have, have constructed and are working on. All right. Take care. Bye.